I can smell the cilantro, like, it's delicious. <laughs> you got the band-aids ready? Because I'm not so good with a knife. Ah, uh, he's great. kitchen. I'm Elise, the chef. And I'm Shaka, the trainer. And tonight I'm going to teach Shaka how to prepare a healthy, nutritious, delicious meal. Just a couple of simple ingredients. We have our Nuco coconut wraps, some mixed baby greens, lemon juice, pitted Kalamata olives, English hothouse cucumber, red onion, red bell pepper, fresh cilantro, and hummus. You can use any kind of wrap you want. We prefer these because they are um, real clean, real basic. Just a few ingredients, so there's no added sweeteners or anything. You can just um, just be sure that it's not going to spike your insulin, or you know, if you're trying to stay fit, you want something with the littlest amount of ingredients and not any added sweeteners. And also, if anybody has any allergies or gluten intolerance, these are perfect. They're just made of coconut. Um, the first thing that we're going to start with today is our peppers. A little point um, for you guys when you're at the grocery store, if you're looking for organic produce, which of course we always use here at Skinny Buddha, uh, just to be sure that you're getting organic, you just want to check the little sticker and make sure that the number on it starts with a 9. Any produce that starts with a 9 is going to be organic. Any produce that starts with any other number, not organic. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive than the other, you know, produce, but you're getting so many more health benefits, you're not getting any of the pesticides or any of the chemicals added to it, so you definitely want to go organic. So, um, for this wrap, we want to julienne our pepper, make nice thin strips, so I'm going to teach Shaka how to do that first. Um, I like to cut a pepper by just slicing around the core. You got the band-aids ready? Because I'm not so good with a knife. Uh, he's great. <laughs> and then um, I like to get the middle flesh out so that you have a nice flat piece. And then we just go down making very thin slices. Shock is up on this one. All right. Get rid of that. I'm here. Good. Good. Voila. How'd I do? Perfect. All right. Going to do the same thing with our cucumber. I chose an English hothouse cucumber because it doesn't have a lot of seeds. And for this recipe, we want mostly just um, the the pulp and not the, the juicy seeds. It would make the inside of the wrap too wet. So you're gonna just cut off a piece and then when you're cutting anything, you wanna make a flat side to put down against the board so that you can then make thin slices. You're gonna stack those and you're gonna again make nice thin julienne slices out of your cucumber. You just did Shock that real fast. Too. All right, do, <laughs> guide me through it because you just did that You're just really going to make fast. nice thin slices out of that piece. All right. Mm. There you go. Good. Perfect. I'm going to add it to the bowl. I didn't do the stacking thing. I wanted to do the stacking thing. Oh, here. Thing. All right. Go ahead. So now, Good. Yep, now take those three slices and stack them. Uh, and now make thin slices out of your stack. Whoop. Perfect. All right. Good cool. job. <laughs> uh, we're going to use Kalamata olives. You can use whatever kind of olives you like. Just make sure you get the pitted ones. If you end up buying the ones that have pits, make sure you take the pits out because if you bite into a pit, you're going to break your tooth, and we don't want that to happen. 
Um, we're using today Jeff's natural organic pitted Kalamata olives. And we just slice them in half, very simple. We don't need to show you how to do that. Um, we're also going to use some mixed greens. You can use whatever kind of greens you want. You can use baby spinach. You can use sprouts. Um, today we're just choosing some nice baby mesclun. Um, and then we're going to use some minced onion. Um, the hummus that we chose is our hummus that we make here in-house. Uh, but you can buy any brand of hummus. Obviously, we recommend organic. Um, and you can use flavored hummus, red bell pepper, garlic, whatever you like. But I don't, I don't even know how to slice the, the olives. The you got to show me how to slice the olive. I didn't bring a whole onion to press the chop. Well, right, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a newbie, so I need to olive. slice an olive. There you go. Here's a couple of olives to slice. I like to slice them the long way. You can slice them however you want. You could do like little rings the short way like this. But I kind of like to go the long way and leave them in nice big pieces because I love olives and I like to, to taste them. So I'm just cutting it in half? Just in half. Bingo. That's all. There you go. Oh, that was easy. Nice and easy. I didn't think you needed to learn that. Are these those, uh, those Parmesan olives? That, <laughs> no. <laughs> Back when I used to uh, eat dairy, I, swear, I swore that there was a, a Parmesan olive that I love. But Chef says that there's... No I've searched thing. every store in the United States of America, and I can't find any Parmesan-filled olives. Sorry. <laughs> but we don't do dairy anymore anyway. So, <laughs> so it's irrelevant. <laughs> um, so now we're, we're going to make this wrap. We're going to take one of these coconut wraps. You just separate it from the sheet. And you're going to lay it down on your board. And then we're going to use a half, a, a half a cup of our hummus. You don't want to use too much, right, Shaka? Because that'll mess with your... Yeah, notice, first things first, notice that all the ingredients, everything we need is right here. There's nothing else anywhere around. I don't have a wandering hand, which is what we call it. Bag of chips here, you know, a little sip of the wine here. We're hungry, so we're making a meal. I wish I had a glass of wine. Yeah, right? <laughs> we're hungry, so we're making a meal because we're hungry, and we're going to eat the meal that we make. We're not eating while we're making a meal to eat. We're not picking off our kids' dinner mm -hmm. plates. Mm -hmm. We're just preparing our meal, and then we're going to enjoy it. And like Chef said, the serving size is the serving size. You know, It's not a heaping serving size. It's not something that you can keep adding adding and then then you come to me later on and you're like I'm not losing any weight what's going on you know <laughs> okay so we put our, our half a cup of hummus which is actually a very generous portion and will keep you full and satisfied for a good couple hours um, then you're gonna take your veggies that you've cut up yeah I love veggies am I taking all of them no just uh I mean honestly the vegetables Super low in calories, super high in fiber, full of nutrients and, 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 you know, vitamins and minerals. So you can really use as much as you want. But you don't want to overstuff the wrap. You have to make it fit. So, you know, take as much as you want. All right. Within reason. I'm trying to, I don't want to make it look sloppy. I want to make it look pretty. Everything you make looks pretty. Mine <laughs> doesn't look so pretty. Like that or the other way? Which no, other? no, that way is good. You want it to go the long way with with the wrap because we're going to wrap it this way. Right. You can do a little bit more. All right. That's good. Now you're going to put Yum. some olives. All right. Sprinkle them around. You, you want it to be all along the hummus so that every bite you get all the flavors. That's good. One more. Okay. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of minced red onion that we had prepared earlier. Like that? Yep, that's good. You don't want too much. But again, it's personal taste, whatever you like. If you guys like spicy, you could add a little bit of crushed red pepper. You know, those kinds of things, loosey-goosey. Like, go with what you like. Go with, go with what feels right. All right. Some mixed greens. We're going to take some cilantro. We forgot to chop the cilantro. I'm going to show you. Just take a few sprigs. 
Is there any secret way to tell the difference between what is it, cilantro and uh, parsley? Parsley. You gotta rip off a leaf and smell it. Smell that? Actually. Yeah, it smells good. Cilantro has a, a very strong smell, and parsley kind of doesn't have a smell. It's a little, it's a little more uh, muted. So you'll know if you rip it and, and smell it. You just want to roughly chop it. Nothing, nothing fancy here. You got it. Chop you got it this. Up. Yeah, just a rough chop. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look pretty. Chopping it releases some of the oils, and it lets the flavor of the herb come out. So now you're going to take that and sprinkle it on top. Oh, this is going to be good, I know. <laughs> and now we're going to drizzle it with a little bit of lemon juice. Not too much because, again, you don't want it to get too wet. And now okay. we're just going to roll it. So from the end closest to you, you're going to kind of tuck and roll. You want to do it? Yeah, yeah, let me do it. I think I got this. So tuck and roll. Uh, it's starting to come out already. All right, no, you got it. Keep, you got to roll. It's pressure. There you go. Uh-oh. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, well, but don't man. put your thumb through it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a little, a little too it. aggressive. <laughs> he doesn't know his own strength. Mm. That's good. You did great. And we're going to cut it in half. I like to cut it on an angle. I don't know why, but I do. And voila, you did a great job. Oh. Look how pretty that is. He Yummy. made pretty food today. And delicious, I bet. You want to have a taste? Yeah. That's the best part. Mmm. I'm hired. Mmm. I'm hired. So make sure you sign up for our YouTube channel. Like us on Instagram. And if you make this at home, please leave a comment below and tell us how it came out what you use, what ingredients maybe you use that were different from ours, and we will see you next see time. You next time.